Of course! Greetings someone! If you're new here, I'm Crow Phoenix Knight and we are back at Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. In today's episode, we have to disable the disruptor field that is on the planet near the Star Forge in order to get to the Star Forge and to end our journey, our grand mission. Yeah, we are getting close. Uh, anyway, thank you for your support, and let's do this. Got something on your mind, do you? Not particularly. I suppose you're going to nag me until I cough it up, aren't you? Nothing is private anymore, it looks like. <sighs> There's no escaping it, I guess. So be it. My wife's name was Nayama. She was the Yukatis enforcer who shot me out of the sky, if you remember. My wife had plenty to do with the war. Upon meeting her, I knew right away that she was strong in the Force. That's why she was able to shoot me down. Nayama was a marvel of a woman. Fiery, determined, smart. She dragged me to the capital and foiled three of my attempts to escape prison. Oh, and that body. Well, yes, that. <clears throat> Needless to say, I eventually won her over. That was after I kidnapped her upon being broken out of the Yukata's prison, mind you. But, uh, that's another story entirely. At any rate, I wanted to train her in the Jedi way. The Council refused my request, naturally. I was still a Padawan at the time. I was an experienced Padawan, surely, but not yet ready to be a full Jedi, and certainly not ready to train another, especially not one so old as my wife. Nayama was intrigued by the idea of becoming a Jedi. She liked the idea of power too much, perhaps, but I certainly didn't see that at the time. I believed in her and trained her in secret. I ignored her willful nature. I loved her too much to see fault in her. And she loved me too. I know she did. At the time, our love was a shared bliss. Better than anything I had known before or since. Exar Kun is what happened. Nayama was inspired by Exar's promises of a new golden age. She wanted to join him. She came to me, pleading with me to throw aside what she called the decrepit trappings of the Jedi. To join her in Exar's war. I pleaded with her to reconsider to think about all that she was throwing away, to think about what she would become. She would have none of it. Finally, in frustration, she attacked me. She drew her lightsaber and attempted to strike me down. It was a scene being repeated everywhere throughout the galaxy. Pupil against master. In my case, it was a long and terrible battle, but I defeated her. No, no, I had her at my mercy, disarmed and defenseless. She looked up at me and she knew. She knew I couldn't do it. But I should have. Sometimes I convince myself otherwise, but it's no use. She had fallen to the dark side when she raised her saber against me, and I let her go. To my shame, she went on to kill many Jedi during the war, until she herself was slain in the final battle. I grieved for her death, inevitable as it was, even as the Jedi Council put me on trial for my actions once the war was over. I had trained Nayama against their wishes. I had failed to kill her when I had the chance, and she went on to kill others. Not to mention that I had remained a Padawan throughout the war. A formality, perhaps, but with a trial, it had to be decided if I was worthy to become a Jedi at all. It was a travesty, of course. I told you that even the Jedi were capable of great injustices, didn't I? Want to answer? Hmm. 
But I deserve to be tried. They found me innocent. Even though I deserved every punishment and more, they let me go. Mitigating circumstances, they said. I deserved compassion, they said. They said I had learned wisdom the hard way. For all I had done during the war, they wished to raise me to full Jedi status at long last. That, that was when the Jedi left me. That was when they failed me. No, maybe you don't at that. They may have been able to forgive me. I could never forgive myself. I... yes, I do, I suppose. Does that surprise you? Uh, it is all so long ago, lost in the winds, I suppose. Nobody cares what an old man believes anymore, do they? Let's continue on with the task at hand. I would prefer to think of the present today. Hmm. Very interesting. Hello, T3 and 4. Yeah. And you, Kandorus. Man, what a change of scenery. This is such a contrast compared to Corban. <laughs> Hello. Oh, we can go here? No, we can't. <laughs> Nothing is here. Okay. Hey, what's your problem? Yeah. 
Chawana Bota Ayuha Tahunga Chakanki Dora Kachikui Tahodonga Topa da Bungwalia Gando Do Nano Chuchu Musha Papampa Bola Wana Chitne Mamuli Slemo Boda Wanga Kumbes Murira Rabes Uba Batu Koji Tong Nong Bong Chang Nung Yang Tong Hatox Bactelia Chiska Du Sukiku Ba Nabona Naikachu A Tuinkotu Topa da Bungwalia Gando Nago Chuchu Kabaji Kuita Hotonga Yalamo in Kapun Jiloba Murira Ni Bobo Wanguku Eska Gang Bamamarurira Uba Batu Koji Tong Nong Bong Chang Nung Yang Tong Hatox Bactelia La Boda Ni Winkis Matoma Wanaku Bes Ching Pa Marurira Tok Ching Bang Nong Kek Tok Ning Cha Murira Rabes No thank you Oh actually thank you No wor- don't worry What am I saying? So, there are Mandalorians here. I believe Kandorus will be more than happy to see them. Oh boy. Can you just give me a break? <laughs> oh, North Beach? Let's see the other exit. Temple exterior. This looks so beautiful. Let's go first to the North Beach. Hold on a second. You understood these goggle-eyed freaks? You must have come to this planet and learned the language back before the Jedi messed up your mind. Back when you were still Revan. ガバモタ、アイワタカケンキドラ。ジスカトスケコバモナナイカチュ。ヒガチティマン。ユマリファーキンコトゥン。オババトコンキ。ノバムララ。ジライコンカ。Alright. Tonghead sucks one at you. You might leave bar at Inkokun. 
Which one? Donkey Bano Kune, Jiska to Suki Kuba, Rona Nai Kachu, Tonghai, Elder Swamachi, Gawana Boda, Ayua Tagua, Kenki Dora, Yuma Leaf Bahaki Kotu, Tuka Rua, Gawana Boda, Ayua Tagua, Kenki Dora. ジスカとスーキコバンオナナイカチュウ。ヒガチティマン。ユマリファーキンコトゥン。ウーババトコンキ。ノバムララ。ジライコンカ。ドンキンパノコンネ。ジスカとスーキコバンオナナイカチュ
Everything about this is strange, but I believe we shall know what's going on here in time. Oh, this is where you sleep? Kind of a strange holes you have here. Rakata, 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 Lua? Who are you? ゴヤミジュース、ジライクンカ。エルダスワマチ、ディチュバジコダナガ、キンコンジョベショ。ウーババトコンチ、ヌトカロア、アチュアベキ。マホラリビキ、サトン。ガワラポタ、アイワタク
Let's get out of here. What? Oh. Okay. Here we are at the temple exterior. And some angry wild rankers. Hello. Of course, there are other rankers here. Fortunately for me, they are not that tough. They only take a lot of damage. These are room covered pillars? I'll deal with that later. Oh, this is a powerful energy shield. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Let's check out this area. Of course, of course, the Mandalorians. Kenders, are you happy to see them? Okay, I'll use this. I'll use this. You are gonna... Use this. Yeah. Okay. Then, I'm gonna use this, you're gonna shoot this guy, you are gonna st stun this guy and flame him, and stun him and flame him. <laughs> Okay. Come on, use the force. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, ho, ho. we can do it. We can do it. Okay, you have to stun him and frame him. Blame him and stun him and attack him. You, uh, this. Okay. 
survived. Ooh! Mandalorian head. Assault rifle. There we go. Kandras, now you look like a Mandalorian. Here we are at the south beach. Of course there are mines. I guess... <laughs> I believe there are some spare parts in this wrecked ship. For our Evan Hawk. Wild Ranker? Again? Now, what is this? Okay, guys, that's it for today's episode. In the next one, we are going to fulfill our promise that we gave, apparently, to the chieftain of the Akata tribe. Anyway, thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then, be the very best version of yourself.